Hi guys, this is Athene and uh, this is uh, actually a clip about the power leveling we did, world first, level 80, even though we got banned at the end, but uh, I just want to show you guys how we did it and what all the, yeah, what we all did to uh, get so far and to do it so fast and um, no matter what all people say, you got haters, you got people that like it, I mean, I'm just going to explain everything from uh, the start um, and, uh, well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed enjoyed the clip. Anyway, I'm gonna start at the beginning, and it's pretty easy. The first thing I checked was whether it was uh, legal to mob tag, uh, because at the end of the day, I mean, if stuff is uh, is illegal or an exploit, then I'm not gonna do it. I'm not a an, a cheater or something. So I first want to check whether it was legal, and uh, if it wasn't legal, then I would uh, yeah check out uh, how I could. Uh, maximize it so what I did is first thing I did was page gym page to gym I checked I said yeah is it allowed to mob tag mobs or to leave the party uh, so uh, the person gets full experience and he said that it was entirely legal that it was just a clever use of game mechanics and I actually print screened it to make sure because I know with Blizzard there's always issues uh, sometimes with gyms contradicting each other and stuff like that so I just print screened it and I was really very good uh, very yeah very positive about it uh, I asked um, a few guild members if they were up for it they were very skeptical at the start they said yeah I don't know you can never get world first I mean you have a competition of 11 million people and stuff like that but at the end of the day I, I managed to convince them and uh, I would uh, actually never have tried to to convince them if I knew we would end up getting banned but uh, anyway so um, it was all uh, cool uh, it was ready to start uh, to check out how we would do it so the first thing I did is get a beta key I tried to get a beta key and um, I went to uh, Wrath of the Lich King and uh, I was actually checking which instance would be the fastest, which one would be the most optimized and which one would be uh, get um, the person the level the fastest so and also not just that I mean um, what mobs gives the most experience and uh, how much yeah wh where where is the best place to get the most experience in the shortest of times because that's what it's all about if you want to get world first level 80 so uh, we check different instances nexus and all that stuff but we end up that um, um, Utgar's keep was the best instance to level up um, I made actually a graph uh, well not a graph just statistics I'm showing it um, where you can actually see that um, from one full run we did a full run with mob tagging uh, Tyrus was getting four bars so um, by calculating how much uh, every mob gives and um, we could actually calculate how much experience uh, how much time it would take uh, to level based on the experience because I actually took uh, every level I asked some people that were power level uh, that were leveling uh, on Wrath of the Lich King to test out how much experience they get from every mob and that way I may could make a table and calculate how much it would take to level uh, every level and uh, as you can see uh, the difference is not that big I mean it's going slowly up but it's not that crazy I was uh, very surprised with it and at actually at level 79 you do not get any experience in Mona Edgar Keep so we had to move to another instance we also checked it and we found out that Spider instance was the most effective where you got 2.7 bars uh, at level 79 for every run which took about 12 minutes so uh, that way we could uh, calculate everything out and uh, yeah I managed to find out that it would take us 15 hours to level from 70 to 80 and I didn't think it was possible to do it faster. I mean, even with questing, no way. There was no way to do it faster. So when I found this out, I said, yeah, uh, what's the most efficient way to do this? I mean, if you want to uh, mob tag or if you want to do to steamroll a, a character to level 80, what's the most effective, what's the most efficient? And that's where the, the, the entire uh, process started of fine-tuning it. That's when the, the hard work started. But actually, I think everything... The entire um, uh, stuff we did up front took us about, I think, yeah, about 15 hours preparations. And what we actually did was, um, yeah, I was just thinking what's the most effective. The most effective if you are mob tagging is actually if you have a, a fully Sunwall gear tank that actually is the person that gets power leveled. Uh, and then you have three AOE DPS 
and you have uh, a healer healing the tank that's the most efficient way and um, the thing is also that if you want to do it the most efficient way it's impro it's it's important that you I, mean, I didn't care about myself I didn't want to level myself to level 80 because I mean I I just want to to check out if we could do it uh, check if we could uh, achieve it it was it was a achievement to to manage to to be world first uh, beating 11 million other people trying to 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 uh, to level and um that's why um I choose well we we decided to make Darius level 80 because he had a fully tanked uh, uh character a fully geared Sunwall tank as you can also see in the in the in the table you see actually that the experience you get varies from 2.3k to 4.6k a mob at level 70 and you'd say oh how come it differs the thing is that every mob uh, depending on the damage you do, if you tag a mob and you do no damage, then you get 2.3k experience. If you tag a mob and you do all the damage, you get 4.6. So the amount of damage you do on a mob uh, um, is actually uh, increases the experience you get from that mob after you tagged it and other people kill it. So that way, we, uh, well, I was thinking like, yeah, the best way is that the tank does the most DPS possible, the most DPS possible to get the most experience from the tagged mobs, and that's why uh, actually Darius had a really <coughs> strange uh, spec and also <coughs> enchanted everything for DPS. So all his tank gear was with string gems, all everything for DPS because every percent he would do more DPS, he would actually get also more experience, which would speed us up. And I think that's uh, one of the key elements why we managed to do it so extremely fast because uh, at the end of the day <coughs> it wouldn't even have taken us 14 hours to, to manage, or well, 15 hours it would have taken us to get level 80. So after we uh, find out that uh, the DP DPS is so important and uh, um, we kept fine tuning uh, ourselves and we said yeah how, how can we do everything as fast as possible it's important that you have full mana potions I mean I'm just gonna give you a list of everything what we did it's, it's really gonna sound uh, pretty crazy um, you you got full mana potions I mean we have full mana potions 300 mana potions each then you have flasks you have brilliant oils you have food um, you have of course all the symbols and all that stuff um, you got also swiftness potions swiftness potions to speed us up you got um, uh, drums uh, of uh, haste you get repair bots and the thing is that all that stuff I mean we also we um, you you have to grind for it it costs us about about I think I spent about two three K everyone spent about two three K on, on just mats and uh, getting equipped up for for doing this the the um, setup was also extremely important I mean we were thinking like yeah what's the best thing to do what how can we uh, get actually that uh, world first was the best setup and the thing is that if you go for AoE, maximum AoE um, a Boom King Druid is really extremely good you got a mage, you got the hunter for uh, volley and also uh, very important for aspect of the pack because of the speed you got of, of course uh, an AoE tank which is a paladin prot paladin and then also a the holy paladin because I can also AoE and increase the damage so that was actually the best combination we could get, we took the best people uh, the hunter um, came uh, at the end, it was slow because our hunter um, couldn't come because of real life stuff then you got the druid was meat love you got uh, the paladin was Darius and you got the um, the mage we wish air bomb uh, by the time we were very enthusiastic and we didn't actually know that <laughs> we would end up getting banned so as you can see, you see all the bad packs, uh, all the the gear. I'm also gonna give you guys some uh, some extra um, some extra feedback about um, my spec. As you can see, I had a very strange spec. Um, I actually specced uh, a red, firing red for that uh, sanctuary for that improved retribution aura because it would increase our DPS by three percent and also I didn't actually need infusion of light because I just had to spam flash of light and also the thing is that I actually had so much crit uh, that yeah I, I could do so <laughs> I had an endless mana pool I had at the end more than 50% more than 52% crit with just holy light with my gear also the thing is that 
we also used the um, the Shadow Moon Valley buff. Um, we also used the Zandalar pots that gives 20% speed for two hours. What else did we do? Uh, I'm just thinking. Uh, did you see, we we fine-tuned everything to the max, and also with DPS-wise. I mean. Everything matters. Everything matters. Every single thing speeds it up. Everything matters, and we we we, we find you did really well. And I'm actually going to show you guys a run now. I'm going to show you a run from start uh, to the end uh, in Utgast Keep. It's uh, at level 79. I'm also going to explain yeah uh, how we did everything. Thing is that uh, as you can see, we just entered. Um, Darius pulls the, the packs, leaves the party, AOEs them, we just AOE them down. Um, as you can see, Hurricane does a lot of damage, everything does a lot of damage. And uh, yeah, we just try to fine tune it and maximize it, so we did it very fast, uh, as fast as possible. Because the thing is, the cap you can do it the fastest is 12 minutes because you can only reset the instance 5 times an hour. So 12 minutes was our goal. We managed to get 14 minutes, we couldn't do it faster. And uh, we actually did everything. I mean, 14 minutes we get keeps to clear it entirely. It's pretty, it's pretty fast. So it's pretty nice what we did. As you can see, uh, we were just uh, pulling three, four packs at the same time. Darius was getting at the start about 420,000 experience a run, and at the end, when he was 79, he was getting 200,000 experience uh, a run, which is pretty nice for for 14 minutes. Um, and we actually didn't get any experience at all. Uh, Darius was getting all the experience. This uh, way of ta mobbing, uh, of um, yeah, tag tagging mobs is actually completely legal. Uh, there is n nothing illegal about it. Even worse, the person that uh, did World First 70 did it the same way, and the person that is now World First <laughs> level 80 actually also mob tagged outside the instance not inside the instance. Inside the instance um, is a bit faster and uh, uh, it's a lot more effective because you can just reset, you don't have other people uh, ganking you and stuff like that. So yeah, I think it's a little bit of a shame that we actually did get banned uh, for this uh, when we when we hit at 79 and where we when we were about to hit level 80. I don't really understand why it took them so long to actually ban us. P I, I think to be honest, I think what happened is uh, Blizzard was uh, actually screening us and um, they didn't really know what to do because it was legal but they saw that we were doing it so fast and didn't actually want to I think didn't want that other people used it and then just suddenly decided that it was illegal and banned us. I really think it's uh, not a very nice way to handle the situation, they could just have whispered us and, and asked us to stop us uh, to stop because it was not uh, allowed. But actually, yeah, they didn't do that. They just straight banned us and yeah, they put it Darius back to level 70. I I I don't. To be honest, I'm I'm really honest about this. Huh? I all this uh, this power leveling and all that stuff. I don't take it so serious. The main reason I did this is because uh, yeah, for the achievement for the laws actually just. To, to make some really good clips about it, to be able to to really, yeah, to really bash people uh, about it. Uh, if we would make it, it's really it's really so funny to see people's reactions. And uh, actually, what happened with the situation is actually, at the end of the day, the lulls were even more epic when when we ended up getting banned. I mean, we did all this in 13 hours with like 10 or 2 to 15 hours preparations. You can also see in, in the clip that we do not loot any mobs. I mean, if you would see the amount of runs we did, I mean, we lost at least 100,000 gold by not looting uh, with uh, the, the enchant disenchanting and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, the achievement is a lot more. I, I, I honestly think that we did it world first. We did it world first, we did it legitly world first, but because we did it so fast and because it was pretty outside the box, Blizzard had to intervene and make a, a very a very radical decision to ban us all five but at the end of the day I mean um, I it's just a game and it's extremely important that you always um, yeah that you always relativate it that you don't take it uh, too serious that you don't go too much into it I mean 
the the thing is, it's pretty easy. I mean, there is a lot of people that could say you you would have a lot of haters saying like, yeah, uh, it's wrong that they banned you or whatever. Um, I mean, the gym said that it was legal, and now you, another gym just d decides to ban you. The thing is, at the end of the day, I mean, when you when you read the terms of a service, it says that you can get banned for any reason. I mean, there is no reason they have to give to ban you. And because of that, I mean, the time you play and the time you spend on this character is totally vir virtual. I mean, you don't uh, you don't possess anything. I mean, everything you achieve in the game is all just pixels. I mean, you, it's very important to, to, to know stuff like that and to not take the game too serious because at the end of the day, if Blizzard wants to ban you or do whatever they want, they don't even need a reason. I mean, they came, the gym came, they sa he said, like, yeah, it is not allowed to do this. Uh, we found out it is abuse. It's not even true, I mean. And they just gave them a, gave them a deed. They could, could even come and say, sorry, Athena, I don't like you, we just ban you. And they would still be in their right, I mean, uh, by just accepting the terms of service. If you don't agree, you just don't play the game. That's how easy it is, I mean. Um, but the moment you start playing the game, you accept that Blizzard owns everything and can just own you whenever you want, whenever they want, and that's how 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 it works. And it's very important that people actually, yeah, understand this. As you can see, also we we skipped, yeah, to come back to the level, we skipped the second boss because um, it was actually he only gave 11k experience, and in time it was more effective to just skip him. Um, you can see also how much buffs we got. Uh, we also always have aspect of the cheat down, and and uh, it's pretty. Yeah, it's really it boosted our speed a lot. Um, I was actually yeah, Darius. Darius was doing really a lot of DPS. He was d pulling 1.5k DPS. Uh, you got uh, the mage was I think when 1.5k DPS. I think I'm gonna no, I didn't die. I actually didn't die. Um, the Oh well, Meat Love died here. So this was actually a slower run. Sometimes with the buffs, uh, people sometimes do die. Uh, it actually happens rarely. Mostly it went really smooth. And um, the thing is that... Um, yeah, as you can see in the run, we just we just did it so fast. I mean, we did it so extremely fast. It was just incredible. And Darius was getting so much experience. And... Yeah, it's it's actually a shame that <laughs> that we um, that we w we get banned at the end. You can see we didn't stop for anything. We just kept Darius, just kept going. Uh, we didn't stop for resing or whatever. Just kept uh, going for the next pack, uh, killing it. Next pack. You see, I use retribution aura, and Darius actually also re uses retribution aura because of the DPS. Um, the only when the only moment we went actually to buy skills that Darius went to buy skills when you one was he hit at 75 because uh, then he would get shield of the righteous which would which increase the DPS a lot you know that to level from 40 uh, 74 to 75 it actually took the same time from 75 to 76 just because of shield of the righteous because the damage increase was so much that he did that experience he got extra from the mob tax like I explained at the start was actually um, yeah was actually neutralizing the extra amount of experience he needed to level and the lower amount of experience he would actually have gotten each mob so uh, also about the glyphs uh, we, we did we, we also did the glyphs the sins and death which increased the glyph dam uh, the undead damage with one percent it's just all little things that that helps um with keeping up everything and keep us to manage to do it eh? i will actually later on i will actually show you um every level we did every level we did and we dinged with some explanation um the thing is that i mean while we were leveling i was checking other people i was checking how other people were doing there was a guy that actually logged on it was really crazy. Uh, he wa his name was Archimondo, and he was si like screening all the realms. I don't know why he was doing it, but he was actually screening all the realms, and he was saying, "Guys, you are so much ahead of out of everyone." He was creating characters on all the alliance and the horse sites uh, to to keep up track with uh, how they were leveling, and. Uh, 
The thing is, yeah, uh, I actually checked, uh, I actually joined him in the Ventrilo so he could keep us up to date, but there was no competition at all. I mean, we were doing it so extremely fast. Uh, we were 10 hours a ahead when we hit at 77 with the second one, and when we hit 79, we, we were so much ahead. I mean, the second one that actually leveled, uh, that dinged uh, 80 was 27 hours, uh, and he also did it with mob tagging. And we did it in 14 hours, that's twice so fast. I mean, the speed is just incredible. And uh, yeah, I can maybe understand in one way why Blizzard actually stopped this, because uh, it's maybe not meant to be like that, but the way that the Warlock was doing it, that thing level 8, it's not also meant like that. I mean, you're not meant to mob tag and, and kill mobs and, and someone else just being there to keep you up. Uh, but that's how they designed the game. I, I, I don't... It's really very contradictory. Uh, you can discuss it and debate it. Uh, they designed a game like this, and uh, well, whatever. I, I don't really. I'm not a guy that 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 whines uh, about what ha what happened or whatever. I just take it like a man. That's that's how I am, and I actually enjoyed it a lot. I mean, my my time, my I really, really. I think it's really we did a really great job. I mean, my the team we were in. They did such a great job. I mean, we did it 14 hours. It was Air Bombas didn't sleep for 30 hours because he he couldn't sleep. Um, I don't don't know why, but the thing is, he stayed up and he kept doing this. You see here, we mounting up to to speed it up uh, a little bit. Uh, it actually speeds up. Just go boom, leave party, spam AOE, just keep up everyone. It's really yeah, it's really incredible how fast we. We did, we do these runs, and the thing is that the only way to manage to 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 level so fast to 74, I mean, it's not by uh, you can't just do it because you're a thing or whatever. I mean, you need to 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 fine tune everything, and we did it in such a, a, a professional way that we actually did it twice as fast as anyone else, and. Whether you're a hater or or you like me, it's a big achievement. I mean, if it wasn't for a uh, blizzard that had to decide on the last minute that it was certainly illegal, we would now be world first. I mean, um, and um, um, yeah, it it would be. I think it would be uh, a nice achievement and uh, the thing is I'm, I'm showing you guys everything here because you've got still people like say oh it's not possible that they did it so fast and all that stuff but I'm actually showing you exactly how we did it so um, yeah there is no confusion or whatever whether uh, we did it you see the run is about to go over and I'm actually gonna give you an overview of um, I'm actually going to give you guys an overview of all the dings. I'm going to show you when there is dings every level. Uh, maybe I'm also going to show you the the um, make you hear the um, the original sound with excitement uh, when we dinged and all that stuff. And also, you got also the people, of course, that hates us. I mean, Glamour was trying to level fast. Uh, I mean, they they got owned so hard. I mean, th I think the entire world got owned pretty hard by by us leveling so so fast. I mean, um, you, y there was actually other three other people that were doing exactly the same as we do it, but they stopped because they saw that we were doing it so fast uh, when we were 77 they were like 74 they just stopped they logged off uh, because Archimonda was actually screening it and uh, I would actually have done the same if someone else was doing it way faster than us why waste your time uh, and have n a lot less sleep you just do it in, uh, more chilly and um, yeah here you can see actually with aspect she does some sweet just drink a uh, uh, but uh, Darius was drinking a lot of sweetness potions to speed up the the, the pooling and stuff like that but as you can see um, yeah we I think we we really own the game we own the game and uh, uh, since that Blizzard owns the game they owned us even yeah that's how easy it is yeah we just log off uh, we out go outside reset the instance and of course we go like inside of course and that's how easy it is and we do everything again and again and again and again we did this run I think in total about four times an hour uh, four and a half times an hour which is uh, yeah here is the dinging we're actually showing the dinging 
um, you can see it he's dinging every time um, I don't know how, how easy it is to show him actually leveling um, because it's not the best quality but yeah you can actually see he's going up from 71 to se to 80 I don't have from 70 to 71 because my fraps crashed I don't know why so um, yeah you can see it you you have people actually in the trade channel shit talking us and stuff like that glamour mainly uh, saying that uh, we don't can't do it uh, solo and stuff like that it's pretty funny um, I'm actually gonna show you guys that when when a Darius hits level 75 I think or 76 nobody is level 73 can you believe that so Darius is level 70 I think 76 or something and nobody is level 72 I mean when when we hit at 79 the most, the highest level was 74 on our realm. I mean, the gap is so big. If you know, it's harder and harder to level. I'm actually gonna show you later in the slash woo. Um, I'm gonna actually tick it and and show it. So you can see, I'm just showing you here everything. And um, I also want to show you the original sub, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that because um, it's pretty. It's pretty intense ident editing to do that. So yeah, you got people congratulating us and all that stuff. You got people hating on us. That's how 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 easy it is. And yeah, as you can see, I I really it was really very not here. I'm typing it actually. Uh, seventy, there is a seventy six I think here. And just the second one is seventy two. It's it's just crazy. Uh, it's just crazy how fast we did this. Uh, just own the game. So yeah, we just keep doing this. Yeah, at seventy, ah, oh, it was actually seventy. Yeah, it was seventy-five when we did it. It was seventy-five, and the second was seventy-two. Yeah, here, as you can see, at seventy-five, I went. Um, um, he went to buy his skills. I went to the auction house to buy mats to enchant his gear, so he do, would do more DPS because by leveling up. Uh, the DPS he was taking was uh, it was easier to heal for me. As you can see, I'm gonna go to the auction house, buy some arcane dust, also arcane tomes. He went just Hearthstone to Shatra and gave it to him. Maybe people think this is very boring, but I'm just explaining everything what we did to manage to get that that record. Because in my opinion, we did the record. We did the world first, and we did it uh, gloriously. I mean, we did it just. Uh, uh, we did it perfectly. Yeah, then um, we just get summoned back. As you can see, uh, no dime time. We just get summoned back because we left two people back. And we just get back um, to keep on leveling. I'm going to show you the, fa the four last levels now. Loading screens, it's downtime, but yeah, you can't uh, go around that. Um, so, uh, after all, uh, I'm I'm pretty satisfied with uh, everything. I just feel sorry for for my team members. I don't really mind for getting banned. Um, Darius, we we just was a temporarily banned. It was not a uh, permanently banned. They investigated our account. Uh, I think Blizzard wasn't really happy with all this situation. They are really uh, a little bit an yeah. It's a, it's an annoying situation because they actually know that. Um, that it spreads really easy in the world community. Yeah, you can see uh, he's just leveling ding ding ding. Just showing you every ding. Uh, I showed you the graph. Actually, the graph that I made before we started was actually exactly the same. What what we did was exactly the same. It just came out exactly the same. I'm really pretty impressed that it was so, uh, you know, it's so close together. Um, yeah, just running outside when someone dings. Uh, here you can see nobody's level 74 <laughs> and Darius is level 77 I mean it's just insane you can see he's gonna ding 78 I think here that's pretty um, pretty hardcore it was really pretty hardcore how we went and we did this um, and only possible with very big um, fine-tuning everything 
the story always ends uh, we thought yeah here he was actually 79 uh, already there and uh, there was nobody level 74 I think when he was 79 we we went to Arn Forge immediately I invited um, two people at um, spider instance um, in my party so they could summon us so because else it would take us 30 minutes to get there and um, yeah we will get summoned there anytime soon I just added two people from the guild for Phil Fellas and uh, I think Phil, uh, Phil uh, what was his name again I think Phil Fellas and Viceroid thanks for uh, doing this uh, was really nice got summoned there by then we were really sure we had we had it locked down <laughs> we were really sure we would get the world first very excited but uh, we didn't know what would happen <laughs> when we actually got inside the instance and started to level so yeah um yeah you can see what how how we actually did it um here we go to the instance there was horde ganking um us. The thing is, it's very impressive that we managed to do it on storm scale because there was, pre it's it's a very competitive server. There's a lot of horde ganking stuff. Uh, they actually killed him. Managed to get inside the instance before they had me. But um, yeah, here you can see it was actually the moment of truth. Uh, we're about to level uh, 80, and um, you can see how we we mob tag the the boss here. Uh, when he comes, he we we kick him from the party. There, I kick him from the party. He tags it, and um, actually, the GM that came, he was actually already here while we were doing the encounter. He stopped the encounter, but didn't s we didn't see it uh, at the start because we were so focused. And um, yeah, I think th at the end of the day, the 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 best lesson I I've learned from this, and I actually knew that lesson already, but I hope you guys learned this lesson, is that at the end of the day, this is just a game. This is just a game and you don't own anything. I mean Blizzard owns everything and that's very important that you know that and they can do whatever they want. They don't even need a good reason and you can achieve everything in the game. You can be the best, you can you can do whatever you want. They can just disable your entire world with one click and they don't even need to justify themselves. Even the worst in this is that actually the gem that said that it is allowed and it was allowed actually Blizzard can even say you are allowed to do this and afterwards ban you for the same thing you did and you have nothing to say I mean and at the end of the day nobody gives a shit either I mean you can do that I mean now for me I mean I'm a thing a lot of people talk about it so it's different uh, with me but uh, if it ha uh, but even with me I mean if I'm banned I mean are you gonna nobody is gonna do something about it it's just like yeah you're banned and that's the end of the day uh, here you see GM comes, appears, and say, "Guys, you can go see you guys." That's how easy it is. <laughs> oh, it was pretty. And I actually tried to talk. It was very rude of the GM. I ta tried to talk to him. He just disconnected us. He didn't even give me the time to. You see, I type it. It's pretty fucked up, but yeah. Relativate is just a game, and you don't own shit. It's the terms of service, and yeah. Well, still. I want to grasp everybody uh, for uh, this achievement, uh, my team, for doing this. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the clip and you see how to level world first and what preparations it takes and all that stuff. It's not just, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a thing clip about this. And yeah, see you guys.